I only want justice. That's what I was thinking. I only want justice. It wasn't a mistake to take the supplement. I was taking the supplement, yeah, 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 yeah. which was prescribed by a professional. Yeah. So my mistake that I would say, and I take responsibility, is to triple check. Okay. Let's take like that. Yeah, yeah. You always listen to a professional. So I take totally responsibility for, for sure. that, for not triple checking. Yeah. And for not triple checking, um, the fact is the f four years was totally extreme. You know, when I saw yeah. that, I'm like, this is extreme. Come on, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know? And um, now, thanks God, that uh, yeah. you could see the truth at the end. That's yeah. why I kept, um, I always kept believing. During now, during the period that you you can't play, it, you've almost lost a part of who who you are. And yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely, they took everything that I sacri uh, sacrificed yeah. for uh, all my all my life, and I was been saying, no, I sacrificed too much, and I'm not done mm. for someone to come and take this from me. Oh, Paul, listen, thank you so much. For, for joining us today. And it's been a difficult, what are we now, 15 months? Yeah, I mean, with the doping, it's been a, like, yeah, a year. Yeah. And obviously before that, with the, you know, coming with the injuries and everything. Yeah. Can we just start from the beginning of this entire ordeal for you? Mm -hmm. Sort of where you were when you got the call, what you were doing, who called you to say that you failed this? this doping test? So, I, rem I remember that day um, I was at training. So I was in the gym, getting ready to go outside. And uh, the doctor comes to me and he said, um, you got tested positive, but like a week before I had like an uh, injection, so in mm -hmm. the club. So they thought, they thought it would be that. Right. Know? And uh, so he come, one, like he came, he told me this, I said, okay, cool, no problem. And he goes back, he leaves. And two minutes after, he comes, he comes in again. He said, Paul, um, yeah, you have to come. You have to come, you've been tested positive on testosterone. I was like, what are you talking about, mm -hmm. testosterone? And right there, we had a meeting with the, I mean, the lawyer of the club, uh, doctors, everybody in the same room. I said, what's going on? I, I sit down, they said, like, you've been tested positive. They're like, for what? What did I do, you know? Yeah, quite. And, um, yeah, that's, what, that's when uh, I find out. That's when I find out. So when the doctor came to see you, to say you failed the, a doping mm -hmm. test, and you know you didn't knowingly mean yeah. to do it, what, what's the, what is the emotion? Is it, is it anger? Is it, I don't know, is it sadness? What, what, what goes through your body? I was shocked. Mm. You know, I feel like... Uh, they're accusing me of uh, doping, which I didn't dope like. Yeah. And I start thinking directly. I say, what did I eat? Did I put a cream? What happened? Like, what was I doing this day? Like, what did I take, you know, in my body? Maybe I took something. You never know, you know, you can even get doping through cream. Yeah. So I start thinking, what did I do uh, that was new for me? What did I take? So I was like more in reflection. Right. Start thinking. Think yeah, about what you think about, about everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when when the when it kicked in that God, I'm in trouble, you know, I might be in trouble mm -hmm. here. There's going to, there's going to be a punishment. You're at the you're at the prime of your career, you're at the absolute peak of your career. Mm. So you, you you were twenty nine at the time for twenty yeah, twenty nine. Mm peak of your career yeah. and you're facing a ban, how does that, how does that feel? Well, it's, I had so many uh, problems also, you know, with, um, I mean, with the family, yeah. you know, outside football, let's say outside football mm -hmm. and um, uh, with the injuries. So for me, it was a new, I wanted to be a, like a reset for me. Yeah. And then I come and that happened. So, you know, I was like, why again you know why, yeah. why why all this test i just want to play football man that's all i wanted and i was like you know i was drowning with problem on top of problems and it, i felt like it didn't end up kind of yeah um 
obviously it's an imp- that has an impact on you, obviously, because it's mm-hmm. your career sure. and it's your life. For sure. But there's also an impact on, on your family as well. And yeah. the people and, the, and and the people around you because they have to live with you. You, you know, your kids see you every day. Mm-hmm. Can you talk a bit about that and and how how tough you think it was for for for, for those guys? Have they ever told you how tough it was? I mean, you know, living my kids, they they're too young to understand, but my wife, mm. she was she wanted to defend me so bad yeah. and say, of course not. This is not him. Yeah. Definitely, there is a mistake here. Oh, he definitely didn't do it on purpose, you know. And by seeing, you know, the so the social media, the papers, every everything they talk about this, because it's negative. It's not a good look. No. It's said like that. Everybody, all the friends. Oh, this is this is this true? Is this true? You know, we're not ready for those kind of um, things in life. You know, you don't get so. Every, everything comes at once like that, so it's a cho- it's a really good shock, and we try to to hold it and be like, oh, we're gonna be fine. Let's see, let's find a solution. But at one point, you know, you just break down, you know, and you know, we're very strong. I can say that we were very strong. My wife was really, really strong, yeah. really strong. It's not easy, and she was there, and we had to be parents also at the same time, <laughs> yeah. you know. So we have to, we have to suck it in and mm. and try to yeah be be very strong mentally and uh, you know, not my wife she was she was there she was yeah. there and strong and Brilliant. keep me also keep my head up I help her also you know like mm. in this case and obviously talking we we start talking with the you know people you know like not psychologue but. People that help, you know, just to to make us feel better. Yeah. You, know? you, you said that you, you felt like you were maybe breaking down. Did you, is that is that what it was that what it felt like? Because we look at you and you're, you know, you seem like a really strong character, and yeah. you've got a, and everyone knows your mentality. You've got a strong mentality. Yeah. But this is a different kind of blow to to, to, to manage. It is different. To be honest, is we human. Mm. You understand. We have feelings. And um, you all have a heart. Well, sometimes, sometimes it's tough. It's really tough, man. In, mm. in both sides, when it's you know when it's good, it's always easier when it's good. But it's also tough to to uh, hold this. It can be the fame in the positive way. It's tough, you know. Always like on the spotlight and stuff yeah. like that to keep your head calm and be like still. Let's say humble yourself. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough also. But when also it's a, in a bad situation, yeah. it's tough. It's the same. You know, you have to sometimes keep your your head cold and um, and sit back. Right. Sit down and think. Yeah. You know. And that's what happened to my life. Yeah. It was a big setback, and I sit down and I see life because I'm telling you, when that happened. I really realize what was life, because there's no Paul Pogba, the famous guy, the player, and everything. Because people were avoiding me, avoiding yeah. my what? Yeah, that's that's reality. And when they go, things go <laughs> don't go your way, I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's like oh, it's this guy right there. Mm. And people buy. You know, when you see in the media doping. Yeah, people, people start. People, people think that you. you yeah, yeah, yeah. When they hear doping, it's uh, it's uh, you take something. You like uh, you you want to become book. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's basically that's how people used to see me. I took drug, and you know the public opinion. Everybody can think and say what yeah. what you want. And for the the worst thing, it was even my wife. You understand? Mm. So. For stuff like people used to invite me, I'll give you an example, um, all the fashion week or other kind of stuff like that, yeah. events. And now they're like, oh, no, we cannot use uh, Pogba. Mm-hmm. You understand? So that was a good s- sit back and, well, life is like that. And you learn, so do you, you, do you, feel, you feel like you've, I guess you've learned a lot about, you said your life, but about yeah. maybe the people around you. Yeah. Maybe change yes. a little bit. Yes, 
my phone wasn't ringing the way it was ringing uh, before the the day I've I've, I've received mm -hmm. the the good news, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm totally fine with this, to be honest. Really? I, I, I was. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's it's life. And I realized. I realized with this, with what happened to me, I realized that yeah, life is really like that. And it's me and many others. You understand? So it's. I've, like all this past year and a half, hmm. I've took 10 years probably, <laughs> you know, and uh, <laughs> now I'm glad I, I grow so much, you know, I'm yeah. a different person today, I'm totally different, I see life differently, and um, obviously, uh, you know, when some, you take something out of, you know, you take something out, that's something that you love, you realize how much you love it and yeah. you appreciate it, so, yeah. Um, just can I ask your opinion on the on the penalty, four years, which was a maxim the maximum penalty, which you kind of did it there yourself. You associate that a four year penalty with someone who is injecting themselves sure. with with steroids, but For obviously sure. you by mistake taking a supplement that you thought was cleared by the cleared by a doctor. Yeah. Can I ask? Can I ask you? But it was it was a lot. It was the well, it was the maximum penalty. So that, you know you must have. Yeah. Let me just you, you say by mistake I took the supplement. It wasn't a mistake to take the supplement. I was taking the supplement, yeah, 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 yeah. which was prescribed by a professional. Yeah. So my mistake that I would say and I take responsibility is to triple check. Okay. Let's take like that. Yeah, yeah. You always listen to a professional. If you go to a doctor, he will tell you, okay, take this. Two, uh, two times a day, mm. you won't, I mean, you can check, you know, one time, if everything is good, you get another bottle, mm. and you don't, like, you won't check another, another time, you know, and that's what happened to me. Um, so I take totally responsibility for, for sure. that, for not triple checking. Yeah. And for not triple checking, um, the fact is the f four years was totally extreme. You know, when I saw yeah. that, I'm like, this is extreme. Come on, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know? And um, now, thanks God, that uh, yeah. you could see the truth at the end. That's yeah. why I kept, um, always kept believing, yeah. you know, that, you know, you know, when you don't do, when you're innocent and you know you didn't do anything wrong, mm -hmm. you know that at the end the truth will come. Yeah. So, so yeah. I had faith in that. Good. Did you... Did you because obviously football's you know your life and it's your it's your passion and it's your you know, it's your job as well. I guess. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that you during that period, during now during the period that you you can't play, you've almost lost a part of who who you are and yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely, definitely they took everything that I uh, sacrificed yeah. for uh, all my all my life and I always been saying, no, I sacrificed too much. And I'm not done mm. for someone to come and take this from me, you know. And it's not just. I only want justice. That's what I was thinking. I only want justice, and I only want to play football. So on, on top of that, you you you're, you've won so many trophies, won so many caps for France, played some of the biggest clubs in the world. How important is your leg your legacy? You're ending toward you end. To, I know you still got maybe five, six years to play. Absolutely. But how how important do you feel that your legacy is to you? Or are you, or are you not even thinking about your legacy yet? You know, I play. I start playing football, and I had dream. I had goals. I had mm. objective mm. that I achieve, and there's some that I didn't. I always live. I, I always wanted to leave something in football and be unique and be different and be recognized worldwide. Thanks God, I think I did. Like I know people recognize me, but I think it's not finished. I still right. want to continue and give to myself, for myself, obviously, for my family, and for the people. Because for me, football is. It's a show. It's something that you want to see and you want to enjoy. You go, mm. you take your time, you take train to go and see something that please you. Yeah. And that's what I want to give to uh, until the, the, the end of my career. Yeah. Are, you, are, you, are you concerned at all that what's, what's happened over the past year will be, be like a stain on your legacy? 
that it, people will always remember this this period when really they should be remembering the winning the World Cup for France and you know playing for Juventus, playing for playing for Manchester United. Is, does that concern you at all? I mean, no. Now it's part of my story, so yeah. I, I, there's another. You accept another, it? Yes, of course, and I accept it because it changed me. I think in a good way. Mm. It made me realize stuff, and it made me have more hunger. It made me appreciate football even more. Right. You understand? Yeah. So, this part of my chapter, I don't want. I will not forget it. Mm. You know, people might forget it. Yeah, because. Now that the doping passed, ah, it's not doping. People f forget about, oh, it was like, yesterday people were thinking I was guilty properly and uh, I did it on purpose. Yeah. And now they're like saying, oh, oh, it's not, we're so happy to, yeah. for, to see you again, you know? Yeah. We'll be so happy to see you again on the pitch. Things change like that and this is life. Mm. But me, I accept it and I will not forget it because it made me grow again, you understand? I do, that, yeah. it's a very good point. When you got the call, two Fridays ago. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that phone call or that news and how, how that made you feel? Where were you? Where were you? Who were you with? <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I was wearing a, a, a suit. <laughs> I was wearing a suit. <laughs> right now I was trying a new suit, you know? Yeah. Um, I was trying a new suit for the premiere. Um, and... I didn't have my phone. So my wife come with my phone. She said, the, the lawyer, the lawyer is calling you. I'm like, okay, wait, let me finish. Like, no, 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 he's, he's calling you, please. So I just go down with the suit. <laughs> <laughs> I go down with the suit and everything and I get the phone and then I speak with my lawyer. Oh, Paul, you know, he tried to keep, uh, you know, mm -hmm. professional and yeah, yeah, not yeah. explodes of yeah, happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, Paul, uh, um, I just got the result and uh, it's, they reduce it to 18 months. Uh, you know, at the start, I was like, oh, oh, yeah, nice, nice. And my wife was like, oh, what, what? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so it was funny, it was funny. And, but I didn't realize until an hour after, I promise you, I was like walking around my house. Yeah. I was like, wait. Hold on, like, is this, is this real? Is this real, yeah. I was walking like this, everybody happy, jumping, my kid, like, my wife, she was so happy. I'm like, I, I, I paused, I was in shock. I said, really? He said, so I didn't know until an hour after, and I realized. Didn't sink in. I realized, I was like, and I spoke with, um, with my cousin, actually, yeah. I spoke with my cousin. It's like, yeah, like, we was, were so happy. And I say, you know, bro, I cannot, I don't even, I don't, still don't believe it. I was looking at the, uh, outside, I was like, you know, like, thanks God. Hmm. It's, it's happening, thanks God it's happening. No, 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 there's no way, no. It was crazy. I couldn't believe, seriously, I couldn't believe. I was really, really happy, obviously. I was so happy. And that happiness in change to like a determination at one right. point i was like yeah oh God, this is my second chance you know that's my other chance now i have to you know mm. i'm ready i need to go and train i was so excited and pumped up seriously uh that's brilliant yeah. that must have been a nice moment for you to, no def to share, definitely yeah? definitely because you, you went through let's say you went through hell mm. you know you had the time of darkness because it was darkness to be honest when you don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know, if they keep four years, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. uh, do you know where we're going to live? If you have to move, not to move, the appeal moving. So I didn't have a set, I didn't have a, a line in front. We were here waiting and waiting for, for a year. For a year we were waiting. What are we doing? We have to wait. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see. And that happened. So obviously it was it was a big moment. Brilliant.